So this is what the wig looks like turned all the way around. Again, there is no stocking cap on this wig, just a piece of fabric. And I really already like what I'm seeing. Okay, so it claims that I don't need a stocking cap. So I'm going to do this without a stocking cap, even though I really don't feel too good about this. You know, it's, it's snug, so we're going to make it do what it do. So this is what the hairline looks like without having any type of stocking cap on so it does give off you know natural parting and it also again comes with a 13 by 6 parting space so you get a lot of parting space with this wig which you guys know I really do love now here's the hairline on this wig I mean it's not my favorite I am going to go in and pluck because I do feel like it needs just a little bit but if you're not comfortable with plucking your wigs, you can definitely get away with this wig. But you know what? I really got to put a stocking cap on because I just feel the friction between the cap and the wig and it's just not going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and put a stocking cap on. It's totally optional for you guys as you can see, but I just feel more better with having some sort of protection from friction between the cap and my hair. So this is what the parting space on the wig looks and this black patch that you see on the lace is the actual piece for the elastic band but like I said you can remove that and as you can see if I part the hair anywhere else you get nothing but lace and it looks really good considering there's no bleaching and I do have a stocking cap on but it's you know it's not the same as the fabric that they have Another thing that I noticed with this wig is they place the fabric behind the hairline, which gives a more invisible look. So I like that. Now, this is what the hairline looks like without any plucking. I'm just going through with the hot comb just to really see the hairline itself. Now, on the other side is the side that I did go in and pluck the hairline just a little bit. I didn't do a whole lot, but I did feel like it was necessary to do some plucking just to thin out the hairline. Okay, so now that I've done the hairline the way that I want it to be, I'm going to go ahead and put the wig back on. Now, I do have a stocking cap under this wig just to keep a barrier between the wig and my hair so there's no friction. I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off, you know, the usual. Now, as you can see, the lace does look a little light on my skin, which I prefer than the darker lace. Um, so what I'm going to do to fix the light lace um, is add a little bit of face powder. Now this is the face powder that I would use for my actual skin tone or you could simply tint the lace to get it to look you know more melted into your skin. But this is just a quick convenient way to do it. As you can see it looks more melted into the skin with adding a tint of color to it. And keep in mind I'm not going to glue this wig down but if I was to glue it down it would look even more melted into my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue styling the hair and then I'll be back. For those of you who watch my videos, you guys know that I have to pluck my part, but for this particular wig, as you can see, I did not need to do any type of plucking, so I'm really, really here for this wig right now, but I think I'm going to switch it up and actually do a side part instead. Like, honestly, that's like one of the hardest hair decisions is a side part or a middle part. But I am really falling in love with this wig. Like, do you see how it just goes behind my ear and just have so much volume? Love it. So I'm going to go in with a lot of body um, hair mousse just to get the hairline to look more straighter or I don't really know what it's called but I like this look where the hair looks like it's super bone straight at the roots this wig is like really pretty like I'm really seeing in this video how beautiful this wig is like it's crazy 
Now I'm not going to do any type of baby hairs on this wig. I just really wanted to see how this wig would look with just a, a baby hair or two. <laughs> and I don't know. I just really don't think I want to do a middle part. I think I'm just going to go to the side part instead. <laughs> filling this wig with a side part so once I have moosed down my hairline on exactly how I want it to be I'm gonna go in with a wrapping strip and place this right on top of my hairline and this is gonna help mold the hairline and it's also gonna help with having the wig attach more without having to use like any type of glue or gel so like I said I just put this around my hairline and then I go in with the scarf as well tie it really really tight let it sit for 30 minutes um, or less just to let the mousse dry on the hair even though the texture of this wig is straight I still feel that this hair has some sort of weight to it I don't think it's 180 percent density however I can definitely feel that it is a little on the heavy side and the quality of this straight texture is really nice so like I said, after about 30 minutes, I go ahead and take the scarf down and the head wrap down and see if my hair is dry. And this is pretty much what the hair will look like after you apply the mousse. Now what you can do is take like a comb or something and just comb through the hair to take out, you know, like any stiffness that may be there because that's what the mousse does is it helps mold the hair. But mine is perfectly fine. I love it like this. So I'm just going to go in with the flat iron a little bit more and straighten the hair for those little pieces that was bent inside of the headband. So the last finishing touch to this beautiful wig is adding a little bit of hair oil. So I'm going to go in with the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Oil and just apply a dime size all over the wig. Don't want to apply too much because the wig is already kind of shiny because it is more of a silky texture. So I don't want to weigh the hair down nor that I want it to look oily. So I just wanted to apply just a little bit. And this wig is so pretty y'all like because the simple fact that I did not have to do any bleaching, really no plucking, just a little bit of plucking to the hairline, no stocking cap, no gluing, no gel, like all that extra stuff, I did not have to do with this wig. So you did a really good job with the fake scalp method. I hope that other companies can take a look and learn some of the things that you guys have accomplished with this particular wig. So the details of this beautiful wig will be below in the description description bar I would highly suggest that you purchase this wig because it is simply one of those wigs that you literally put on and go you do not have to do a whole lot to get it to look good so again all purchasing information will be below and I'll see you guys on the next hair review bye